Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to another episode of Grandia 2 or Grandia 1 I'm going to watch Grandia 2 I'm getting Grandia 2 and Scouten 2 mixed up I've just done some videos with Scouten 2 as well so yeah, getting it all confused This must be the statue that those soldiers were talking about It does look suspicious Justin, was what was that? Justin, your bottom is shining! It's my pocket! Could it be the spirit zone inside? Oh, it doesn't look like your bottom, mate. The spirit stone is... I've never seen this before. Whoa, is it hot, Justin? even modelled the insides. Although they seem to have very small brains. So, this statue was a door. It seems like we can go further down here. But why did it open? Was it the light of the Spirit Stone? That's gotta be it, Sue. The Spirit Stone is related to the ancient civilization. That's it. This must be a real Spirit Stone. <laughs> Slightly insane laugh. Cool! We're the first ones here. Even those guys in the Garlide Forces haven't been in here. Oh yeah. We are the first. See, they even modelled the head. Weird. Either way, down we go. Salt Ruins Ancient Passageway. Oh, don't fall down. So I came in that way, with the path which led that way, so I want that door to be there. Don't get disorientated by the fact that the whole room is spinning. There we go. That was cool, freaky, but cool. See, he agrees. Cool. I've never seen, I've never heard of ruins like this. It moves by itself. I'm sure great discoveries of the Angelo civilization lie ahead, right, Sue? Justin, the spirit stone is shining again. They're looking at me suddenly feel very self-conscious. And the one on the left has got a very bad shot. Sue, look! Angelo is calling! Yes, he is. He wants his PlayStation back. Welcome, he who holds the Spirit Stone. Did you say something, Sue? So? Uh-huh, I didn't say anything. Yikes, goal! The big glowing disco ball. Welcome, he who holds the Spirit Stone, symbol of the promise between the humans and the spirits. Who... who are you? I am Liette of Alent. I have lived through and inherited the history of Angelo.
What? W what's going on? Ah! We're, we're gonna fall! Don't be scared. This is the land you live in when seen from the height of the stars. Come. Please tell me. What were you seeking when you opened the door? Gee, you're uh, sort of putting me on the spot. Hey, how did you know that I have a spirit stone? All power is born from the light of the spirit stone. Without it, the door of Angelo does not open. But Angelo is just a mythical world. It is no myth. The stone that you hold is the ancient symbol of the promise between the humans and spirits. Look. A world created by an eternal promise between the light of the spirits and the wings of the Icarians. This is the world of Angelo. The light of the Icarians and the grace of the spirits will not wane lest all of the stars sparkling in the sky turn to embers. Ever since receiving the blessing of the spirits, the people unyoked themselves of the original restrictions and began to walk along the path of evolution. The light of the Icarians and that of the Spirit Stones are the symbols of peace in this world. The spirit stone that you hold should really stay always with an Icarian. Say, Justin, doesn't that sound a lot like what's written in the myths of the Angelo? I thought so too. If so, then how are the myths related to the Angelo civilization? Uh, Lietti, is that your name? Please tell me, are those myths true? Please tell me, Lietti. Are the myths of Angelo true? One who desires one answer to one question. Or many answers must head for a length. Do you desire many answers? Um, what should I do? <laughs> yeah, I've got lots of questions. If you desire many answers, then you should leave on a long, long journey towards a length. Ever towards the east. In your long journey, you may lose your way. However, the light of the Spirit Stone is sure to lead you in the right way. Or, sure to lead you the right way. As long as you have the Spirit Stone, he who has the Spirit Stone, if you desire many answers, heads for a lent. Towards the east, a lent. Could that mean... The New Continent? You want me to cross a sea and go to Alencia, the New World? Liete, is a lent... Will I be able to meet you in the new world, Lieti? I feel like I'm ordering a strange coffee. If I go to the new world, can I meet the real Lieti and real Icarians? Wait, Lieti! Don't forget, the light of the Spirit Stone will lead you to a land. Now go, I am Lieti of a land. I am the one to wait for eternity. She's gone now, Lietti. Ah. Uh...
we saw lots of things, but it almost feels like it was all a dream. Uh-huh. That was really like a dream. Just in that light. Do you see a light? Did you see a light? But what's that? The spirit stone. It's shining. Incredible. It, it's incredible. It, it is real. That's right. This is a real spirit stone. Yeti and everything we've seen is no fairy tale. It's all real. You're right, Justin. I've decided I'm going to Alent. I'm going to meet the Icarians. I'm going to discover the Angelo civilization and surprise everyone. And then, and then, we'll take over the world. No, wait, wrong game. Oh, wow. Anyway, I'm going to Alent for sure. The, on the only one who can do it is me, the adventurer Justin, with a spirit stone. Yes! I'm going to show them. Da -da 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 -da. Of course, you have to get out of here first. Pardon me. And you got lucky getting in. I've got a feeling you may get stopped by a few soldiers on the way out. Who goes there? Yikes, we're busted. What is the child doing here? Where did you come from? Lean, go secure the exit. Yes, sir, Colonel Mullen. I have many questions for you two. Don't think you can get away. Here we go, there with insane looking eyes. But what do we do, Justin? I'll figure something out. If you do not answer truthfully, know that your life is in jeopardy. C Colonel Mullen, they're just children. Please, nothing rash. I understand. But one who makes a fool of me, even a child... Th that man, he's serious. Justin, his eyes are not smiling. His eyes look like I'm going to kill you. I have no name for you to call me. I am a lone wanderer. Hmm. You want to tell me your name? I am the Great Sayaman. So, you decided to answer truthfully. That girl there has been calling out your name. Now, be prepared before you answer. Continue your foolish ups... I haven't been up... I have not been abstinent. Mr. Green Eyes, who makes you want to... There, there, that girl died too. It's unavoidable in the light in the line of duty, my boy. Remember that this girl's life is in your hands. Did you open the door here? I guess I did open it. My my, that's so. But neither the adventurers nor the men could open it until now. Now, well, I shall ask you another question. What exactly did you see in the depths of the ruins? Strange room, but nothing else. I saw a mysterious, pretty girl. Strange light, strange lights, and ancient images. Could uh, strange lights, spirits, could be images from early ages of the Angelo civilization. Hmm, I see. There still are people like you who have the spirit of adventure. Colonel Mullen, what will you do with these two? You can't be thinking of. Don't worry, Lean. Angelo is a major military secret. We'll keep them as informants. What? Are you going to take us away? I thought I could go home already. My dear, sorry, but you will never see your family again. <laughs> no, you mean we're trapped for life? No, 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 And a few more no's. Don't worry, Sue. The two of us can take care of these guys. My, my. But even if you escape here, there is still one trap ahead. You'll never escape the salt ruins. <laughs> so, how do you plan to escape from me? Ooh, Justin! Whisper, whisper. Hmm, okay. Here goes. It's sink or swim. Sue, let's go. Okay. 
take that. Spin, spin, round and round. <laughs> huh? Come on, Sue, let's go. Uh, so this is how it works. Come back here. Yeah, no, I don't think I will. Bye bye. Thank you, have a real good time. As for me, I'm going home. And I'm not even going to think that we could possibly still get in trouble. L look, Justin, what's that? I wonder, could this be the other obstacle they were talking about? Rock bird. Four hundred and fifty health. This may take a while. Or not, ninety damage. Can you hit it before it hits her? No. Boy, you did hit it and counter it, so should I heal or should I use an item? Use something that won't be a bit over the top. Like some basic herbs. V slash. V slash. Sixty five. Yeah, you ain't nothing. That's gonna hit before we get it. Cancel and critical. Axe, level up. Yeah. If, if the enemy's close to using their, uh, their attacks or skills, don't bother trying to use yours. It won't hit. Especially not Sue, she takes so long to hats to attack. Yeah, Ouch, Sue is in trouble. Yeah, it didn't go for me once through the entire fight. Just went for Sue. Big win for us! Big win indeed. 150 gold and 30 experience. And 60 uh, weapon skill. It was a very nice battle. What was that? That wasn't there when we came. Yeah, that guy named Mullen said there was a trap. Think that was it? It doesn't matter. Anyway, let's get out of here. I can't believe it! They defeated the rock bird too! <laughs> C Colonel Mullen? Those guys are amazing! They managed to even, even to, they managed to even escape me! Colonel Mullen? Um, shouldn't we chase them? Having a little information about the Angelo civilization get out will not undermine our plans. Let them go. I respect his recklessness. What was the name of that boy? He said it was Justin. Justin, quite a character he is. I had fun for the first time in a while. <laughs> oh, right, we got away. <laughs> it wasn't a dream. I did have a great adventure. I want to call it a great adventure. A great adventure you usually can't do in an evening. Just wait a second. Isn't it too soon to run away? It's evening already. Let's go back to Palm. Do 
I have to heal you first? Yeah, you've only got two health. But... We'll give me a chance to use a lot of these lambing herbs I've been picking up. I've really been picking up a lot of them. And away we go. Let's go back to Palm. Skip Marana Road. Or Marna Road, Marana. Marna, I think it is. I guess there's nothing like an adventure to make you hungry. Come on, let's go home. But what if I don't want to go home? What if I want to go on to another adventure? There it is. It's the one with the food. Seafood and stuff. Say, say, Justin. It's all great going to see Liette and everything. But, do you know how to get to the new continent? Of course I know. We just need to get on a ship. Yeah, just need to get on a ship. Yeah, that that's gonna be simple. You you what, fourteen? Are they gonna take you on a ship? And she's ten? Eight? Yeah. Not gonna be as easy as you think, Justin. Okay, then how do we get them to let us on the ship? Um, well we just I know, we'll just ask Mum. She's sure to know. <laughs> yeah. Just ask mother. Welcome home, Justin and Sue. Dinner's ready. Wash your hands and come along. I want to play some more. <laughs> Great, I'm really hungry. Say, Mum, how can we get on a ship to the new continent? What is this all of a sudden? Well, I always used to go back and forth on my own ship. That's right, you used to be Lily the Skull, right? Well, if you want to know about ships, why don't you go to the port? That's right. That's one way to do it. Come on, Sue, we're going to the port tomorrow. The new continent is Alencia, right? Which is bigger, Alencia or Messina? Where port, where Palm is? Hmm, well, there's nothing on the other side of the end of the world. Yay, yeah, I know. The end of the world is where the world ends on the new continent, right? But... You know, there's something that I don't quite understand. Is there really an end of the world? Say, Justin, what do you think the end of the world is? We'll never know if we don't go. Anyway, let's go to the port tomorrow. Makes me curious as well. Is the end of the world just like the end of the continent over there and it leads to a sea and they think it just turns around and comes back or do they still think, do they think the world is flat or something, I don't know. Anyway, Justin, today you're dirtier than usual. Where exactly were you playing? Not playing. With an introduction from the curator, we went to the salt mines and we're doing scientific research. Oh, <laughs> you doing scientific research? <laughs> That's funny. What's so funny? Hmm. I wonder what sci scientific res research means anyway. <laughs> now you mention it, the creator praised you very highly. He said you were being very good. Yes, now he might forgive me for breaking the statue. Oops, now I did it. Hey, Justin. I didn't hear anything about that. What exactly did you do? Um, nothing. Go on to bed. Oh well, you're so helpless. Tomorrow, I'll go myself and apologise to the curator. But you have to go apologise yourself too. Understand, Justin? Okay, that's uh... Yeah, just uh... Go to bed now and remember to go to the curator and apologise. I do feel bad. <laughs> yes, we'll try to find one starting tomorrow. Let's go, Justin. Nighty night. Da, 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 da. Good morning, Justin. Are you ready to go? Ready and raring, Sue. Ready and raring. Oh, there's nobody in. Did we get up later than usual? Oh, 
Alright, let's go to the harbour, Justin. Aren't we going to ask about the ship? Well, we could, but first I'm gonna try and go to the museum and apologise for destroying that guy's statue. That's the way to the harbour. Huh, the museum's closed. Hey, there's something written here. Let's see. Museum temporarily closed for repair of the Akurian statue. Curator. Oh, poor creator. It's your fault, Justin. He told you not to touch it. <laughs> Next time, I'll be more careful when I touch it. Yeah, you, you, you've really not learned anything, have you, Just? <sighs> to be honest, I'll probably do exactly the same thing. Not learn a damn thing. And I've just ran outside palm. One problem with the game, no map. At all. And I don't think there's a map on the second one either. There could be, I'm not sure. Come on, come on, gather round. Right now, the Blue Marlin restaurant is winning a terrific special offer. Right now, we'll even give you our choice of either cold bread or not very warm bread. Oh, sounds like a great offer, huh? Maybe we should go do it too. Listen, Justin. Listen close, Justin. All it means is that you only get cold bread. Pretty good if you like cold bread. If you don't, not so much. Not another day of washing dishes. The pay isn't bad, but I get bushed and my hands get rough too. Should we talk to this guy first? Hey, you kids, passengers only pass this point. Come on, go home. Oh, you think you're such a big shot? Can't you just let me in for a little? Yeah, nothing to do there. Even if it's the rule of the sea, throwing people overboard in a barrel is no fun. But that's what you get for trying to stir away without getting a steamer pass. A steamer pass? Oh, you can't get on the ship to New Palm without a passport? Boy, don't you even know that. Except for sailors and soldiers, everyone else needs a pass. Well then, how do you get a pass? How do you get this pass? I want to go to the New World too. Hmm, getting one from someone else is the fastest way, maybe? I remember an old man in a cafe in North Palm telling adventure stories, showing everyone a smelly old pass. I think his name was Java. He's an adventurer too, so I'll just have to ask this, no this, this guy named Java. The cafe is in North Palm, right? Well, he just said that. Uh, Justin seems to really have um, selective hearing. No soliciting this way for the cafe. Where's the cafe? Was it a cafe or was it a bar? Ooh, what does this lead to? Nowhere I can go. To Marana Road? No, I don't want to go to Marana Road. That's my cafe, well, our, our home cafe. So it must be here. Yeah, the Blue Marlin restaurant. Yikes, he's coming at me! The pain of getting pinched when I was little is coming back! <laughs> but it's your fault for believing the chef when he said he'd give you the lobster if you caught it. I didn't know he was that strong. Now I really know why he doesn't ever get cooked. That time, not only did my finger hurt, but when I got home, I got chewed out terribly by Mum. I doubt there's anyone who'd be able to cook this lobster. So, Justin, how's the Seagull restaurant doing? Busy as always? Guess we're doing alright, it just means that Mum keeps bothering me to help out. Don't forget, I'm here. I'm helping by washing dishes. I'm sure you are. Uh, but why is there a table with some fish and nobody... 
Fish. This place is really generous. Even the soup is steamed. Steaming. <laughs> what would Mum say if you heard that? This place is really dangerous. Uh, generous. Yeah, yeah. So it's not here. Is it our restaurant? What's this place called? It's Blue Marlin Restaurant. Come on, come on, come around. Blah 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 Sue's house. No, so where where was it? This is a train station. Yes, we've talked about this already. Well, I'm not talked about it, but read it already. Inventor's house. Whoa. Hi, it's ye, Justin. Are you here to interrupt my invention work again? <laughs> Why not? You don't have anything better to do, right? Don't worry, sir. I'll make sure Justin doesn't bother you. Aye, since you're here, I don't mind if you look at me all my inventions. I bet he really wants you to look around. <laughs> My steam engine food processor cuts up all the ingredients for ye. The curler and eat all of the future. Unfortunately, it's hard to get her to cut any of the ingredients and not the cutting board too. Ouch, as you see, her only drawback is she cuts up the cutting boards too. <laughs> Isn't that a sort of fatal drawback? Mr. Inventor, what's this machine used for? It keeps blowing out hot air. That's what I call a hair that I... I use steam power to make the hot hair to dry your hair. I keep making prototypes, but they all have the problem of, of soot mixed in the hot air. I don't think that's the problem. Air this hot will just burn your hair off. A good idea, but... Um, I'll be leaving now. Well, I think I actually think this might be North Palm, so this is South Palm. Yeah, so I was in the wrong part of the city. So it's probably a restaurant or a bar around here somewhere. House five. Oh, I know. Was it this place here? Ah, he better come back soon, or we can't do business. Ah. Say there, we want to see an adventurer who comes to this cafe. Can we come in, ma'am? Don't be silly, you're still a kid. Anyway, I'm busy. That silly boy, he took the key with him again. Hmm, so someone took the key to the cafe and went somewhere, right? Alright, I'll go find him for you. Whoa, you sure? Okay, if you bring back the key, I'll let you in tonight. Ah, that silly boy, he must be off at the harbour watching the seagulls again. Oh, don't tell me it's that 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 kid who had bird shit all down his back. 